We present a whole body sensory concept for enabling mobile robots to feel interaction forces. Our robot Kenny comprises of an omnidirectional mobile base with a mounting tower to which we attach a 6 degrees of freedom force torque sensor. To the other side of the sensor we attach the solid robot shell. With this setup the robot can perceive forces between shell and base. An external force on the robot shell results in a measured force and torque. For convex shell geometries we can calculate a unique impact point from the forces and torques. The LED ring at the top of the robot shell visualizes the angle of the perceived interaction forces above a threshold of 5 newton. Here we see Kenny in impedance control in the unfiltered case. The forces measured by the force torque sensor are interpreted as pure external forces. However, the ego motion of the system introduces disturbance forces. The robot cannot distinguish between internal and external forces. Hence the perception of external forces is not reliable anymore, as we can see by the flickering LEDs. This graph shows a force sequence recorded with the moving robot. It differs greatly from the true external force signal. We employ a neural network filter to recover the external force from the raw signal. It robustly distinguishes between external and disturbance forces and clearly outperforms standard filter techniques. The neural network filter is based on a time delay neural network. We feed it with the six force sequences from the force torque sensor and the six acceleration sequences obtained from an IMU at the robot base. Our network has two output modalities. The regression output estimates the value of the six external force and torque components. The classification output estimates whether there is currently an external force acting on the robot shell. Finally, we combine both outputs by estimating the expectancy of the external force Fx. With our neural network based force filter, the moving robot can now distinguish external from internal forces. We can see that the impact point as well as the magnitude of external forces can be precisely determined. Further, the base response to the external forces is much more smooth compared to the unfiltered case. We can overlay the impedance control with a commanded velocity, in this case forward motion. The robot moves aside as the person pushes it out of her way and then returns to its original path.